The rattle of the subway relaxes you. So let's see if we can go to the school and get um, the other girl if she shows up. Because I might have to ask Nakaria how to actually do it without having to start a whole new game. Well, the sight is not bad at all. You see some pretty girls in the classroom. Oh, yeah, he did set it so that we can just... Okay, thank you. Because before we couldn't do that. You heard her name before. Rachel. People pronounce it with fear. Oh, Lord. The bitchy one has arrived. He's going to beat the crap out of us. Yeah. But it's going to be hot. Probably not. <laughs> Why is that woman's face covered in band-aids? Her serious expression pull, pulls attention away from such things. Her look would be capable of intimidating anyone. At least, it intimidates you. For a second, she looks you in the eyes. You hold her gaze, fighting the urge to avert it. You smile, trying to hide your nervousness. She moves closer in response to your smile. What are you looking at? You, obviously. It's like Don't a way bitchier version of a detective in the comic. Don't beat me up. The answer catches her by surprise. You learned a long time ago that truth and sincerity elicit surprise in most people. Smart ass. Well, stop doing it. Is that clear? My name is Anon. What is yours? Nice to meet you. Just kidding. <laughs> Kindness also usually has the same effect. You used confusion. It was effective. Boom. Don't get in my way, asshole. Too bad most people don't appreciate kindness when they see it. Yeah. Rachel, get, Rachel, get back to her seat. <laughs> Just the professor yelling uh, at her to get back to yeah. her seat. You can see how she's an athletic woman, probably plays a sport. Why would she be so aggressive? Have you mess met most chicks in sports? In the old days, you like to solve mysteries. In the small seaside town where you grew up, there were a lot of them. And there was a strange group of kids with a dog. Was it in Maine? It's always in Maine. Nightmares remind you of them, of those ev of those events. Mysteries you shouldn't have discovered. Nikaria, you better show us his fucking past. You push those thoughts away. After all, you're not there anymore. Rachel's mystery has nothing to do with your former life. And keeping your head busy will do you good to keep the nightmares away. So he's just having sex with random women to fill an innate void in his life. Sounds about uh, right. The classroom, everything looks as usual. Uh, I guess attend class. Class goes by without incident. All right, that's the standard one. Okay, so we go outside. Oh, we continue to be okay. You can, uh, you can just make out Rachel in the subway car. She's standing away from the people, looking earnestly at the ground. When the subway slows down, you see her getting ready to get off. Where will she go? You decide to find out like a real stalker. Yay, you've achieved an achievement, stalker! From the promenade, you watch as Rachel makes her way to the darkest part of the huge beach that graces the city shoreline. She drops her backpack on the ground. At this hour, you can see few people around. She is away from the lampposts on the promenade, hidden from anyone's view. The movements she starts to make are familiar to you. 
No doubt Rachel is practicing martial arts. Cobra Kai? Yeah. <laughs> Why on the beach at this hour? Because montages don't play themselves. <laughs> yeah, don't you want to have like the setting sun? Isn't that the karate kid thing? Um, you've been standing still in the same area for a long time. Ideal for getting her attention. Something you don't want to do. You decide to retire to your home for the night. Maybe martial arts would be a good start for a conversation with her. So we're going to do two more days in the game. Your bedroom. Let's see if the TV is anything new. The amount of... Okay, this is you. The amount of nonsense they are spouting in the news leaves you flat-footed. What? That's a weird one. Stunned, I think, is what uh, the expression... It's just maybe a translation thing. The only thing of note is the beautiful presenter, Gloria Borgia. That name is pissing me off more than it should. (laughs) Her beauty and her tremendous pair of tits. Nicaria knows what he's good at. Same as always with a bone, you go for a walk. (laughs) <laughs> walk with a boner. I think, well, that's also a nickname for a joint. Um, rattle of the subway relaxes you. And the joint. <laughs> yeah. All we can do is be in the same state. Alright, let's attend class. Class ends and you decide to try your luck talking to Rachel. Somehow, it still makes you nervous. Maybe because you're worried you're going to get the shit beat out of you. And you know it doesn't have to do with her being hot with a knockout body. It's kind of like the aura she gives off. The tights she wears don't leave much to the imagination, and you have to keep your gaze from falling to them. You swallow hard and head towards her. Hello! Don't kill me. You again. What do you want? So I've already been told, uh, what was it? Go with the hearts? Yeah. So the hearts are the top one. Okay, so you want to read that? Uh, the, what's, the best fighter is never angry. Rachel looks at you seriously. Lauzo. I've seen that you practice martial arts. I thought a Chinese philosophy phrase would score me points for letting me get to know you a little better. Have you been following me? Yes. No one can resist a mysterious girl. I'm gonna punch you. I thought I told you not to even look at me. I don't mean to upset you, it's just that you seem like an interesting girl to me. Rachel looks at you, sad. Look, Anon, you seem like a nice guy, but stay away from me. It's not in your best interest for it's not in it's not in your best interest for me to be around. I completely understand. You're gonna keep stalking me, aren't you? Yep. Okay. But you shouldn't tell people what to do. You have no idea what kind of life I have. Are you a pit fighter? Yes. Of course I don't, but every word makes me more and more curious. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, but I still have a couple of lives left. Heh, <laughs> just a couple? Yeah, just a couple. There was there was a bus incident at one point, and then, you know, getting shot a couple of times. There, there, there were a few knockoffs. I'll make a note of that. How many did you say you had? Uh, Right now, three, which means I probably got one more shooting and maybe yeeting myself off something before I actually die. Once you yeet yourself off something, you gotta gotta put on the cat costume. You know the rule. What happened to the... (laughs) I would say after. What happened to the other lives? The memories hit you hard, but you can take it. You push them away by looking at Rachel's tights. 
You look into her eyes again after getting a good look at the shape of her body. Spectacular. Well, I can tell you about it over a drink. What do you say? Rachel smiles. But her expression of sadness comes back after a second. I guess nothing will happen over coffee. Very good. I can see you're a busy person. Unfortunately for me. While saying that, Rachel picks up her backpack and walks away. She seems very preoccupied. You can't help but think that the tights are designed to be seen from behind as you watch her go. Thinking about that, you return to your seat to gather your things. All right, so we head out. Hey, you! How oh, good, you're back. The teacher catches you in the hallway. Do you get a coupon for your fourth shooting death? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, one free bulletproof vest. This time, he's not looking at you with his patented ass face. More like... Worried. Are you all right? Well, well, yeah. I'm not afraid of anything. Why do you ask? What? Listen, Anon. I've seen you talking to Rachel. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. Look. That girl is not good company. Why not? Did you notice the band-aids on her face? About a month ago, Rachel wasn't like she is now. She was all about studying and staying out of trouble. But... She started hanging out with some guys. Always going out at night with them. And she started to change. Well, that's normal when you meet new people. Not really. No, Anon. I'm not talking about her becoming more rebellious. All of a sudden, one day, she showed up with these injuries. She looks sad. She was very easily frightened. Are you getting the things that I'm throwing down, man? Professor, you're kind of horrible for not getting involved in helping. She was like waiting for something terrible to happen. The change was spooky. I saw him kick a boy's nose off because he had touched his shoulder. God! Why? You serious? I swear, Anon. I don't know what Rachel's problem is. But be careful. Do we just hit hard mode? Okay, Professor. Bro code. Don't worry. Ha! If you didn't look like such a jerk, maybe I wouldn't have to worry. Oh, he is worried about you. The professor walks off down the hallway, leaving you alone with your thoughts. What could have happened to Rachel? Maybe it's a bad topic of conversation for over your coffee. But you know sometimes the most controversial topics are the best. Literally not on your first time hanging with her. Unless you know you can push all the... It, it depends on what your goals are, let's put it that way. The hallway continues to be in the same state. This is not going to go well for Anon. Oh, God, restaurant time. Oh, let me see if... Okay, is it... Did I go the wrong one? Okay. okay. What one are you supposed to go to? I'm not sure. I was wondering... Let me see if maybe we have to order the coffee. Is there a coffee? I guess not. That's not where it is. Okay. Um, the arcade? 
Mm, nope. Hmm. Is the day over? I'm guessing. Let's rest. Okay. Oh, it's hers not done yet? Is that what's going on? Mm. It may just be that it's not hers isn't ready yet. Okay. At the end of the class, you head over to talk to Rachel. Hi! Anon, what do you want? Shall we go get that coffee? Oh, they weren't going until now. Okay. Uh, Nikari, if you watch this, it is a little confusing, so you might want to say maybe the next night or something like that. Rachel seems to be saddened. Yeah, let's get it over with. With the excuse of being a little hungry, you decide to take her to the impulse. You walk together. You can see how some of the students in your class look at you in surprise as you leave the old building. You would notice that people are kind of afraid of Rachel. You suppose seeing you with her seems strange to them. The subway ride to Impulse is spent with you talking about how difficult some subjects are for you. Like math. She just nods and smiles from time to time. Absent-mindedly. Finally, you arrive at the Impulse. After picking up a coffee for her and a hot dog with a milkshake for you, you sit down at a table. Ew, fast food hot dog. That's a bad decision. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you putting up with me, considering you're having a hard time. Mm. I don't know what's wrong with you, but maybe I can help you? Hmm. You see, a while ago, I went through a very unpleasant situation. I won't go into details. But what I mean is that some help at that time would have been beneficial to me. Mm. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. You can't help me at all. If we're going to do Fight Club, I did this a while ago. Trust me. Like, I, I could do Fight Club. What's the first if rule? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if I broke the... Well, technically, I broke the first two rules. Um, if you're so sure, why did you agree to come for coffee? It's okay. We're going by the Chinese version of Fight Club where it ends with the police arresting him and helping him get better. I love the fact that's real. They they actually took that out and they gave it the real ending back. Oh, they did? Wow. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. <laughs> I guess they don't like being laughed at on the internet. It was probably somebody above the person that made that decision that said, fuck you, put it back in. Um, I... Um... Sometimes help is just someone listening to us. And sometimes it involves a penis. What? I don't know what the problem is, but here you have me. Rachel stares at you, confused. What is this motherfucker on? You get up from the table. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Take your time, Rachel. Trusting others is a lot of effort, I understand. Without looking at her, you walk away. Through the reflection of the glass, you see Rachel make a gesture to say something, but she remains silent. She stays at the table, brooding. You leave the building straight to your apartment. <laughs> Thinking you look so cool. As you hear somebody behind the thing, you forgot to pay! <laughs> As he's doing the Bully Maguire strut down the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, your bedroom, comfortable and quiet. Alright, so that's where we're going to leave it for this game. We are going to do some AI Summoner now. So I'm going to give you guys a link to the Twitch, and you guys can go hop over there. Just give me one second. Okay, it's alright. Uh, give me a moment to give you guys the link, and we'll be switching over to that because that'll be the easiest way to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's game. Good night.